Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the show. Give yourselves a big round of applause for coming out on a school night. I can tell by looking at you, you people don't care. You don't care what night of the week it is, do you? You'll party anytime. You ready for some show? Let's do it. Without any further ado, here's your beautiful, talented host, Miss Catherine Heller. To tell the bartender, I am your host, Catherine Heller. This is yeah. All right. This is the storytelling podcast where we get together and I hear your stories. What's going on, you guys? We have an amazing show. I don't even know how this happened. Uh, we have the incredible, I don't know, actor, writer, podcaster, killing it on Twitter, Mara Wilson is here. Yeah. What? Mara Wilson. We also have actor, comedian, awesome. He doesn't tweet that much, so he's okay on Twitter. Wyatt Sanak is here. And uh, to my left, my main man, my bar back. You may have seen him on 30 Rock, Orange is the New Black, all the commercials, I don't book. Maddie Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie Blake is here. Thank you. He's here to play a Craigslist ad or casting notice, and later on, bar talk with not one, but two lucky members of the audience. Yeah. Wow. Get excited. Oh, yeah, I see you waving yourself in the front row. Good stuff. So normally I like to start off with uh, a story. And the last couple shows, I have been making fun of my sister and her child because they're such easy, easy targets. They really are. I don't his know name them. is Christ Fan. Can you believe that? Christ Fan. That's his real name. It's cute. It's cute. No, it's Christian, but the government messed up his passport. Long story. It's true. Um, but I decided to get a little personal tonight. Is that okay with you guys? I'm going to tell, tell a real personal story. So I am recently single. Wait. No, no, no. No, you guys, you guys, listen. Yeah, that's right. It's spring. Yeah. Don't take sand to the beach. Know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. But I gotta be honest with you. You know, I was uh, a little sad the first couple days. Now listen, it was amicable. Uh, it was mutual. I did it, but I kind of had to. And, you know, we're totally still cool, I will say, publicly. Uh, but, but, you know, it was fine. It all worked out. It's actually for the best. But uh, for the first couple of days, I was a little sad. You know, I got a case of the sads. Yeah. And uh, my friends are wonderful. They were so great texting me and just being so supportive. But a really good friend of mine, uh, Kathy Cyril, you know her. Sure, we work Kathy's together. Sweetheart. Wonderful girl. Uh, said to me, she sent me a text, and she goes, girl, this is day three. She goes, there's a book you should read, and the title is It's Called a Breakup Because It's Broken. Uh, and I went, I don't think I need to read the book. I got it. I got it. So then I went on my, what is called, my little stroll. My, do you remember Catherine Heller's single 2013? Ooh. Yeah, what was that like, Maddie? This time last year I was recently single. What, what was that like? It, it was ugly. Yeah, it was. I, I went through some to-do lists. So I did the same damn thing this time. You, and you, brought, you brought sand to the beach. I, I, that's what was in my crotch. Oh, God. I didn't know that, that was not planned. Uh, so basically, my friends are amazing. So if you don't mind, uh, Maddie and I would like to do a dramatic reading of actual text messages between my friends and I <laughs> post-breakup about my adventures. Uh, hold on. old man glasses. I feel I've turned into my father. Uh, I would just like to say, first of all, uh, these are all real. I'll change the names of my friends. Some of you are in this room and know who you are. <laughs> but uh, I would like to thank my mother for neither listening to my podcast nor knowing how to use a computer. So if you got pearls, you may want to clutch them. Some of the language is a little bit Catherine, single 2013. If you're wearing okay. a pearl necklace, you might Can we get some mood music there, Jake? A little something to really bring us into the spirit. Yeah. That's good. I like that. All right, ready? <clears throat> Post breakup, day one. Anna. Hey, guess who's single? No. Yup. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Well,. I can give you all my therapist words. Most important is sadness and depression take a lot of energy to get through. Eat, sleep, do what truly makes you feel good and helps you love 
you. Okay. And then occasionally drink and do terrible, stupid things and know you're alive and human. That's me talking, not my therapist. Okay. Let's get slutty together. Yes. <laughs> Real person. Day three, Charlene. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm okay, you. In shitty news, it's International Happiness Day. Blarf. In good news, leader of that Westboro Baptist Church, Fred Phelps, is dead. Fuck everyone. You're allowed to be mad. Be mad. Now I smell burnt toast and I'm convinced I'm having a stroke. Well, I was just Googling all STD symptoms because I have swollen glands after my last hookup. Okay, I need to go back to sleep and cry. Day five, Mary. Well, uh, I took this guy home last night, so at least I know alcohol still works. Whoa! Dancing lady emoticons. Who is he? I don't know. Some dude. He's a friend of a friend, and we were flirting and making out, and I told him I wasn't going to take him home, but then I asked him what he was into, and he said, honestly... I just love eating pussy and cuddling. So I said... So I said I'm paying for the cab. Did you ever find out his name? Oh, yeah. He's on Facebook. Like, that makes it any more, like, oh, he's totally not going to kill me. Okay. How day was he on Twitter? Is he good on Twitter? Like, pretty good. Pretty good on Twitter. Uh, day 10. Sarah, I see you're awake because Twitter. I just wanted to let you know I'm a woman in her 30s who made out with a 22-year-old last night because I'm hashtag nailing it, hashtag at life. Do tell. Another one of those, I'm going to the bathroom. I expect you to meet me and to make out in two minutes. He came to the, he came to the bathroom after one minute and knocked, and I was like, dude, I actually have to pee. <laughs> But he was pretty awesome. Girl, you're my makeout guru. I need to learn from you. It's really not that hard. Just say, let's make out. You continue to inspire me. Mazel tov, as my people would say. Day 11. Text sent to a former fuck buddy who does not even live in this country anymore. Sent at 4 p.m. sober. Hey, it's almost our one-year sex anniversary. Let's fuck. LOL. <laughs> that that was it. I got nothing nothing back. I would I would I would have hopped on a plane. I really he was that good. All right. And uh, finally day 15 back to Sarah. Hey girl. Hey. I did what you said works and just told someone I've had a crush on her for ages and I had a crush on her and I thought she was rad. Spoiler alert. Guess who got some necking done last night? <laughs> I told her I'm hoping for a friends with Benny sitch. I actually said that. I like that. I just told a guy, hey, if you want to fuck again, you know where I am. Well played. He followed me on Instagram, so I think it means we might be getting married. I mean, I'm playing it cool. Yeah, totally. Now it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Exactly. I'm considering registering a crate and barrel. Oh, I already did that. Did you not get the email? Can't wait to pick up flatware for you two crazy kids. Wait until the baby shower. It's probably I next week, so you should clear your schedule. It's a destination shower. Oh, nice. Can I help plan all kinds of games and themes that are totally focused on gendering the unborn baby? Yes. <laughs> on it. I knew I could count on you. Please, when it comes to reinforcing the gender binary, I'm always available. <laughs> gotta go. I have a date with the guy I met in the bathroom line last night. You're in those bathrooms. It's an untapped resource. <laughs> Maddie Blake, ladies and gentlemen. Maddie Blake, please can you back here to read Craigslist ad or casting notice uh, with our guests. And uh, also, I just want to say for the record that uh, well, I'm not slut shaming myself. I would never do that. Not on my show. But... I did end up in the hospital two weeks ago for three days from a kidney infection for an untreated UTI from what you just heard about. And that was heavily edited, my friends. <laughs> so the point is, the moral of the story, and what they told me in the hospital, and what my sister always says, because she'd know, always pee after sex. Have a lot of it. Make sure you pee after.
afterwards. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited to bring our first guest out here. She is amazing. I already forgot. Oh, here we go. Uh, she is. She was in an indie film uh, many years ago uh, called um, Ms. Doubtfire. Uh, she is uh, uh, was in a, a little uh, documentary about meerkats called Matilda. Something like that. Uh, but what I know her best as is from Welcome to Night Vale, my favorite podcast. She also does a show called What Are You Afraid of? Right here, third Sundays of the month. Ladies and gentlemen, Mara Wilson. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for being on. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. No, thank Oh, thank gosh. You. I'm so. Whew. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Oh, thank you. We, we, we need to stop. All right. We need to stop with a thank you. Let's do it. Yes. You're welcome. Yes, yes, yes. So um, we were talking earlier. Uh, first of all, yeah. real quick, I know you don't want to talk about this or whatever, but uh, this is Doubtfire's sequel. I, really? Oh, I have ASMR. Um, is that an April Fool's joke? It's, it's you know, I, I look back on what I said, and I probably was a bit too hasty, and I, I did kind of come off like an asshole. No, 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 no. What you did, <laughs> which was the best, she wrote on Twitter, in other news, and linked to something in the Ukraine that actually is real news. I thought that was the best. Yeah, well, I, I really wasn't expecting, I mean, I just thought, like, my Twitter followers were going to see it, and they were going to be like, oh, okay, because they kept, they kept messaging me saying, like, are you going to have anything to do with it? And I was like, no, because they haven't asked me and you know honestly I don't really think that's a good idea. And also what would the ending be? Like what happened in my no divorce idea. where my father told us he didn't love us anymore yeah. and drove away? <laughs> Was that the alternate ending to the original? And the well, audience you know, didn't like it? I mean a lot of people have told me that uh, like some kids of divorce have, have told me some, ch- some people who were children of divorce have told me that it meant a lot to them that the, the parents didn't get back together at the end. It wasn't this you know BS parent trap kind of thing. I felt the same way. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> although I had a I, I had a boyfriend in college once who told me that it like traumatized him. Like he was talking about it like it was like Dancer in the Dark or something. <laughs> like, like they didn't get back together at the end and that was like my first glimpse into like what the world is really like and, and that people don't get back together at the end. And, and it kind of broke my heart and I never saw any more of your movies. And I was like, what? Well, that's Well, I mean, honestly, that was like probably a good thing because we were having sex and you know, <laughs> like it might have, you know, he might have seen me when I was five. It's a little weird. It's yeah. a little bit weird. That's that's a good thing. All right. Well, I'm yeah. just curious about that. Well, yeah, you have exactly. a story. I guess the topic for now is relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I have I have many stories uh, about that. But uh, yeah, what I wanted to talk about was uh, my first boyfriend. Well, actually, he might not have been my first boyfriend if you count my preschool boyfriend, oh. um, uh, Adam Wozniak, who was a. Uh, I, I was in love with him. He was totally gay. Um, he's, he's gay and he's out now and we're still good friends. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we, we got married when we were, you know, on the kindergarten or on the preschool playground Aww. and, uh, we were, we were really in love. We would sing show tunes to each other. Um, <laughs> my first gay boyfriend in college, we sang oh, show yeah, tunes. yeah, yeah. I have no idea. Neither did he. Well, you know, what I was like, I... you know Miss Saigon? I know Miss Saigon. Let's get married. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've been there. I've done that. I remember even, even my straight college boyfriend loved musicals. So it shows you like what kind of guys I'm into. Um, I've never been into a guy who wasn't mistaken for gay at least one time in his life. Uh, I like him fake. Me too. Um, so anyway, uh, so I met, I met this guy. We need, we need a name for him. Let's just, re- Charlie? Uh, Is that too close something, to? something a little more Jewish. Um, I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. I can say Jacob. that. Jacob. Jacob. That's a great one. Jacob. That's a great one. Thank you. Um, uh, sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can say that. You can't. I'm guessing they're Jewish. You better be. Uh, you, you better be Jewish. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, you better be able to reset your Haftarah. Uh, but anyway, Jacob, so I met Jacob because Jacob was also a child actor. Now, you wouldn't know his name unless you spent an inordinate amount of time watching, uh, like, Disney Channel original movies. Um, and, and unless you, unless you spent a lot of time watching, like, the minor characters on that, he, he didn't actually do that much. But I met him, and he was like... He was like a cross between Anthony Michael Hall in uh, in The Breakfast Club, and <laughs> and um, what's his name? Christian Slater and Heather's. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like a little less how iconic. A, a little less iconic, or at least that's how I saw him. And and you know, I mean, like I I uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big like Cold War geek, so the '80s are like a big thing. For how me. old are you um, during this time? I was I, I was like I was 15. 20. Okay. I was like 15. Now, anyway, um. So, me and my uh, child actor friends, we were all in this group called Kids with a Cause. We did a lot of charity together. Um, uh, Hilary Duff was in it. A bunch of other people you won't know were in it. And uh, 
we 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 did it like we did this thing all together. We did a lot of volunteer work, mm -hmm. you know, because we felt guilty, and um, <laughs> we <clears throat> and then we would like hang out. You know, we would all hang out together, and I remember we went to this thing called like the Strawberry Festival, where there was a parade. We, you know, we're in this parade, and uh, see, we used to play these games, um, and we would play the like the like Kill Mary. I can say fuck on this. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we fuck. used to play Kill Mary fuck. You know, although we called it Desert Island. If you what? want a Desert Island, who would you marry? Who would you who would you fuck? Who would you throw off a cliff? Um, oh. I got fucked a lot. Um, <laughs> In the game, in the game, not in I real life. I love that one thing that was edited was not in the, the word game, fuck, but off a cliff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just kill. Not, not, yeah, not, not in real Good life, for you. unfortunately. But in, uh, yeah, I was, the, I was the, you know, I was the, uh, the island whore, I guess. Um, I mean that. I, I said, okay, I said that when I was thirteen, before I was sex positive, guys. Um, anyway, anyway, uh, so I, I did this. We did this game, but then like we got jaded and tired of that game because you know we'd already seen internet porn or uh, or they had anyway. I just like so read jealous a lot of, of your generation. Romance. We had to like oh. find our brothers. Oh no, things. I mean I oh oh no 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 I I didn't either. I was like I told myself I was too good for internet porn, and so I would go to romance. Uh, I would go to the romance novel section. I would pick out a book, fold down the pages, and put it back on the shelf. <sighs> I, I like so to think many, that I was doing like Horny Housewives a favor. I have so many uh, dog-eared romance novels in oh my, my apartment. God. You and I yeah. would, would have gotten along great. Oh like yeah, that. I was I was all about that. Mm. But uh, story's good. Yeah, and the red hot reads in the back of Cosmopolitan. Mm. Uh, but anyway, we were so we got really bored of this game of, of Kill Mary Fuck, and we ended up playing another game that we created called um, called uh, <laughs> called Dirty Clean Sport. And it was like, if we were to have sex with this person, how would we do it? <laughs> and I have no idea what sport means to this day. <laughs> I, I, I think I know what clean is. I think I know what dirty is. No idea what sport is. Oh. No idea what sport is. But like for the purposes of this game, we were all sort of bi or pansexual. And we would go around the table. We were all sitting around the table. And we would like point to somebody. We'd be like, you're dirty. You're clean. You're sport. You're dirty. You're clean. You're clean. You're sport. You know, things like that. And, uh really degrading now that I think about it. Um, so you mean like but, dirty sex versus clean sex versus yeah, like clean, active sex? I, I, well, sport I think was just kind of like 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 a quickie or something. Oh. I don't know. It felt very dismissive to me. Like my neighbors last night. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. I think. It was so sad you guys. I think both I think both dirty and clean take a little more effort. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A little more planning. A little more, you know, buying of supplies beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, rose petals or rope or whatever anyway um so so we were going around in the circles and i like i just kind of learned that like i could i could be flirty and i remember this guy uh what do we agree was his name was jacob 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 had told me like a few months earlier just jokingly he was like you know i always thought you were kind of sexy mara maybe it's because you know we we're talking online so he could have been bullshitting and he was like maybe it's just because you know it's a little girl mrs doubtfire all grown ooh, up ooh. you know but but i did think you were kind of sexy and i was and I remember the just being like, oh my god, that was the first time anybody has called me sexy. Although it was actually the second time anybody called me sexy, because earlier that day, um, I, I, had stretched out, I had stretched out my arms like, uh, like uh, I'm going to nerd myself out here, like, uh, like Tifa in Final Fantasy VII. And, and one of the, thank you, one person. And, and uh, somebody, some guy was there was like, was like, what are you doing? And he's like, you're, stretch you're stretching in a very sexy way. So I remember, because that was the first time somebody called me sexy, and it happened twice in one day. And uh, two different people. Anyway, sorry. Um, my nickname in high school was Tangent Woman, so I'm trying to get back on track. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, you're here. You're here. All right. Uh, so anyway, I, I, uh, we get around the circle. And I'm like, I just kind of learned, you know, and he said this to me, but... And, and I was like, okay, maybe he was joking, maybe he wasn't. You know, he did he did that thing where he was like, we should go to a movie. No, maybe not. You know, that kind of that kind of thing. Well, we're going around the table, and he gets to me, and he, you know, he's pointing to everybody. He's like, you're sport, you're clean, you're sport, you're sport, you're dirty, you're dirty, you're clean. He gets to me, and he thinks for a second, he goes clean, and I, on an impulse, go, oh, you don't know me very well. Uh <laughs> Now keep in mind, I was 13. I was the biggest virgin in the world. Never been kissed. Didn't know the clitoris was part of a man or a woman's anatomy. I read Forever by Judy Bloom once. Yeah, I, 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 I had thumbed through Forever right. at, the, at you know at, at like the bookstore while like looking over my shoulder to see if my sister was still there. Um, and so he and everybody at the table went, oh, and he got this like look in his eye, like, huh, okay. And so uh, we kind of like flirted, you know, back and forth. But I had really strict parents, and then. Uh, I remember we actually, we went to like my friend's party and uh, I like sat, I took him aside and I talked to him. We played the like, who do you like game? And I remember he was like, well, I like Led Zeppelin. And uh, <laughs> he did like 
like Led Zeppelin. He did like Led Zeppelin, you know. And uh, and and then and and I left that night being like, okay, you know what? I thought maybe he liked me, but maybe he didn't. He likes he Led seemed, Zeppelin. He likes Led Zeppelin. And and he happens and to he me was, all the time, he Mara. Pulled, he kind of he kind of pulled away, and then. Uh, but then um, a, a few weeks later, like a week later actually, I went to a sleepover at my friend Miko's house. And uh, it was actually my friend Michael's birthday. Um, and we, we went there and uh, we, you know, we were talking and stuff. And I remember I told this thing that I could like t look in people's eyes and tell what they were thinking a little bit. I mean, it was bullshit, but you know. <laughs> I, I, I looked him in the eye and I was like, and he said, well, what am I thinking? And he took up his glasses and I said, you're hiding something. And uh, he put his glasses back on. And so, uh, so the end of the night, uh, we were sitting. We were sitting. They had one of those trampolines that's built into the earth. And uh, well, built, built, built into the earth. What? Yes. <laughs> you know one of those ones that's built into the ground so children can't fall off and break their necks? No. Well, it's a, it's a good idea. It's a shame you guys <laughs> don't know it. Uh, and so we, we were on that, and somebody was like. Somebody was just like, oh, Jacob's, you know, somebody was like, something about, like, Jacob's half man, half animal, and I was like, ha, ha, yeah, and I, like, jokingly pounced on him, and then, like, we had suddenly, like, our arms were around each other, and we were, like, holding each other really tight, and it was just like, we're not joking anymore, and everybody else left the trampoline, and there was this beautiful <laughs> harvest moon, beautiful harvest moon off in the distance, and people were yelling, get a room, and Jacob was flipping them off, and it was just, like, the most romantic thing, and he said, I'm very attracted to you, Aww. and I said, I'm very attracted to you, too, and uh, I was really nervous, and we went and you not kissed anyone before? Or? I had at a, uh, at, I had at a charity whitewater rafting event. Who <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was my first kiss. I honestly cannot remember which one of the guys there was my first kiss. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe the dirty was right. Um, but anyway, I, I, uh, it was, it was, yeah, that was just kind of like, I played spin the bottle, but I don't, it was, it was yeah, just for fun. Yeah, it yeah. was, yeah, and also like, Seven I, minutes I kissed, in heaven where you just stand Yeah, there, like, I kissed, I kissed Adam Wozniak like, on the playground when I was four, but you know, this was like the real thing, and so we sat and we watched Pet Cemetery, which was awful, but my friend who was there was in it, so he couldn't really like say anything. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and ch child actors, man. And uh, and I remember it was a it was a boy girl sleepover, boys in one room, girls in another. Wow. And then I uh, yeah, it was pretty progressive. That is really progressive. If, if my parents had known, they would have said no. And uh, and I remember like right before before we uh, we went to bed, I remember him like like holding me and cuddling me, and I like ran out really quickly and I kissed him, and he was a good kisser. And then I ran back to the room, and I was just really giddy and really ridiculous, and. Uh, and I just remember, like, after that, like, the next day, being really scared but really excited. And, like, my parents took me to, like, Universal City Walk that Can night. Can I ask, was there tongue? Is that too weird to ask? It was, no, it was just a really brief, quick Aww. kiss. It was really cute. And, and the next day, I was just like, I'm seeing everything in a whole new light. Like, City Walk is in a whole new light. Buca de Beppo is in a whole new light. And, <laughs> and everything was just amazing. And so um, we started... Are, are like we, we started like hanging out a little bit more and mm. but I didn't tell my parents that I was seeing you know that I was seeing anybody and and because I was really nervous they were really strict and then uh, I remember um, I, I told them eventually I was like you know I think he's interested in me I think I'm, I might like him too and they were like okay well why don't you take him with us on your uh, <laughs> on your sister's dance performance at the fairground oh that's a and I was like I mean yeah if you yeah. well you might think that if you've never been to Pomona. But, oh. um, <laughs> but you know, Pomona's, we went to the county fair and she did a little dance to Hey Baby by No Doubt. Yeah, oh, it's in California. My best friend went to Pomona. She is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a, it's a, oh, don't get me wrong. It's a great school. Yeah. But yeah. it's not exactly a hot date. And uh, <laughs> at, at the Pomona County Fair, we went there and we like ate Dippin' Dots. And I remember we were on the Ferris wheel again and I like... You know, briefly, like looked up and I kissed him again, and we we uh, ended up making out in the backseat of my parents' car while they were driving. A what? Uh, it was. Uh, Daddy likes that. It was a minivan. There was a seat in between us, but that was my first makeout session. And they didn't see it. I mean, they might have, but I didn't care. <laughs> Uh, he was nervous. He was nervous. I was not. I was not. And uh, so it's anyway, not like you knew what you were doing. You're, you're I, pretty confident. I, 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 no, I was really good at pretending I was confident. Mm -hmm. Um. So so yeah. But we we made out, and he asked me, you know, and I and I was like, and I pulled the so what are we thing, <gasps> and and he said like, you know, well, do you do you uh, do you want to be my girlfriend? And I said yes. And uh, so it was like it was really nice for a while, except that he lived. 
he had he had graduated early and he was going to one of those schools where you just like finish up your credits and then he was gonna taking classes at like oh. LA Valley College and he was like sixteen. Right, right. And I was like, he's really cool. He's in college. I mean, it's LA Valley College, but he's sixteen, <laughs> guys. And uh, and we, you know, he went on. But the thing about him was he was like really super moody. He would had kind of a rough, unstable childhood, and and like I I was super moody too because I was a 15 year old girl right, right. and uh, and we used to put each other on moody alert <laughs> like you know I'm, I'm really moody right now you know Jacob I'm really moody right now Mar I'm really moody right now is it bad that I still do that <laughs> no, I think like that's actually kind of healthy in it some is. ways. But I remember my stepmother saying to me at the time, she was like, you know, it's, it might not be a good idea if you're really moody to be dating somebody else who's also really moody. You kind of need somebody to stabilize it. And I was just like, whatever. You're, you're my stepmom. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> you know? And, uh, and so, yeah, but, but like things went on. And I remember just like, I remember like it was, it was really hard because my parents were so strict. He'd come over to my place and uh, he came over to our house once and he was like hanging out in my bedroom and my parents made sure that the door was open the whole time. So, and my, and my bedroom was right off the stairs. So like we were cuddling and we were making out. Did you ever then, have sex with him? Good God, no. Oh, okay. I was, I was not, no, I was a virgin until I was almost 21. I was 20. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, well, yeah, I guess I was 22. So yeah. I guess, high five. Top. Um, so it's collectively we're 21. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, so I, but yeah, he, we, we would make out. It was very innocent. And then uh, my parents would come up the stairs and he would jump up and run to the other side of the room <laughs> to pretend like we hadn't been doing anything. Um, and so, and I remember he was going on auditions at that time and he like wanted to adopt a Tom Stoppard play and in the directing, which is, you know, pretty bold for being 16. Yeah. And, uh, and, but like, I'm gonna do Golda's Balcony. Yeah, it, yeah, it was just, yeah, it was, it was a little over his Thank head. Thank you, theater nerds. It was, it was a little over his head. And he, we started doing like, we, we just, I don't know, it was kind of hard for him. I remember I, I told uh, I told my stepmother that I was, you know, going to the mall to meet Jacob, and she said, uh, and she said, "Oh, do you want to take your sister with you?" <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to take my sister I'm with me. I'm still pissed. My sister's here tonight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love my sister, but and we're very close, but no, oh, but no. God, no. But then I wasn't very good at dating either. Like I remember, we like I, I clearly was, like, I am. I had a <laughs> no, no, like there was one time I had a mint in my mouth and I like kissed him. I was like, "You want a mint?" And I gave him it. And then he was like, "I love your moves." And then well, no, but, but then I ruined it. But then I ruined it because he was like, "You want it back?" Like all seductively, and I was like, "No, I don't really want a mint right now." <laughs> I was I was really dumb and I was really innocent and I was really you know. Or he'd be like, "You're so beautiful," and I'd be like, oh, "Shut up, no, I'm not." And he'd go, all right, fine, you're so ugly. Um, oh, well, I'm guessing this guy is not your husband now, so why don't you no. let me know how this ended? Well, what happened is he just kind of, we just kind of like, like I didn't know what happened. We lived far away, and things just sort of started falling apart. And I remember like I was calling, or he told me, he was like, I just want to go back to the thing, the way things were before we were official. I just want to take a break. <laughs> yeah, which, which I bought because I was 15. And I was like, okay. And I was really dependent on him. I told him, like, you know, you're the best thing in my life, you know, because I was 15 and communicated in her hyperbole. And <laughs> we just, and then, uh, and then, like, I remember um, he, he, I would call him up and I would just be like, Jacob, let's do something. And he would just be like, oh, I have to go. Sorry, Mar. And he just kept evading me. Mm. And uh, what happened, I, I remember I was talking to somebody online who I think was actually his ex-girlfriend, but we were friends. And I was like, you know, I think he likes me, but I don't know if he still likes me. I don't know what's going on. She's like... Uh, actually, I don't know if he does. And I was like, wait, what? And she was like, yeah, he, he has someone else, and his friends say that it, it doesn't look good right now. It, it doesn't look good. So sad, and I started crying at my oh, computer. Yeah. I want to find this Yeah, right exactly, now. exactly. And then I, I asked some of my friends, and they were like, oh, yeah, he's dating somebody else now. She's 28. Oh. Okay, I'm 26. I would not go near a 16-year-old, all right? Oh, all right, I, I work with 16-year-olds. They're like great kids, but to date, my God, A 28-year-old no. with a 16-year-old boy? Yes. Oh. What the hell? I know, and they were like, well, she like doesn't really believe in age or whatever. Oh. And I was like, oh. Or the law. Yeah. <laughs> And eventually how he did break up with me is he sent me one of those quiz your friends things online. What? And it said like, and, and there were all the questions like, you know, you know, where am I from? You know, answer these questions. It was this multiple choice thing. It was hot back, so hot back then. And then one of the questions there was. How uh, old is my girlfriend? Well, <laughs> <laughs> might as well have been. It, one of the things said, uh, said, uh, said uh, one of the questions was like, who's my baby or who's my girl? And the answers were like, you know, Angelina Jolie. 
the girl from Matilda. Oh, wow. And then, like, C was something else, and D was like, I can't tell you, or none of the above, or oh something. Oh, my God. And, and none of the, or, or, and I can't tell you turned out to be the correct answer. So I had been reduced to a wrong answer. Holy shit. So I later found out that, you know, the 28-year-old and he had broken up because, you know, they didn't really have that much in common. Imagine that. <laughs> and they, uh, and... Puberty. And, yeah, and, uh, and actually, uh, last year, he tried to Facebook friend me. Oh, yeah. And I wrote to him saying, like, number one, how are you? Number two, you know you acted like a complete asshole when you were 16, right? And he wrote me back, like, the whiniest, most self-pitying, like... Well, God, Mara, I'm really sorry. I mean, like, you know, what am I supposed to say? Like, I was, I, like, every other 16-year-old, ostensibly awesome, but, you know, given to some, you know, screw-ups, and just this, like, and, and when I said, like, how are you, the answer, number one, was men now. And, like, like you made me feel meh. And he just went on and complained and complained and complained, and I wrote back to him, um, well, you know, if I were to contact somebody that like I didn't have a good experience with, I would want to extend an olive branch. But it's good to know, you know, in a world that's always changing. I got kind of lofty there. Uh, good to know in a world. Well, I remember he was going through his Buddhist phase when we dated, so you know. Um, and I said, I was like, it's good Buddhists. to know that some things and some people never change. Good for you. And I did not Facebook friend him. And you want to know one last thing about him? Yes. I actually found his real a name. Clip. <laughs> I actually found like a clip of a sitcom he was in. I was flipping channels one day and it was on syndication. He was a shitty actor, you guys. <laughs> he was, I mean, like, I, I think I was whatever, but he was shitty. Mara, I think you're amazing. Thank oh, you so much for Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay right where you are. Stay Stay right. Oh, right. Because Maddie hey. Blake, we're going to be Maddie Blake up here. Now we're going to play everyone's favorite game Craigslist ad or casting notice. Sam, I wasn't drinking. I wasn't drinking. So, we are sponsored by Buy Brooklyn. It's on Smith Street. It's a great store. Everything is made in Brooklyn. It's all artisanal. So, what you're playing for are two Brooklyn pint glasses. Oh, my God. They're so cute. Wait for it. And little shot glasses that say forget about it, Noive. Oh, my gosh. That is that is my this heart is right there. the best thing ever. My, so my favorite Wikipedia page is the Jewish humor one. Oh, perfect. Yeah, well, this is perfect. Well, thank you, Buy Brooklyn. This is uh, owned by my friend Gaia, who's awesome. So... If you get this right, you win this. Okay. If you get okay. this wrong, you win this. All right. <laughs> nice. So really, it's bragging right. So Maddie's going to read. I like read, those odds. Maddie's going to read what is either a legitimate Craigslist personal ad or a legitimate casting notice. Okay. Which they all sound. And, and Mara, I just want to thank you for coming on here and telling your story about dating Kirk Cameron. <laughs> Craigslist ad or casting notice. Seeking ready? mail must own something to wear for a formal occasion. You must own at least four colored dress shirts. You need to look presentable. Your height must be proportional to your weight using the standard AMA guidelines. <laughs> Only send a photo which was taken in the last three months. Is that a Craigslist ad or casting notice? I want to say casting notice. Is that your final answer? Yes. You would be wrong. It's really? a personal yeah. You know, I, I can buy that, though. You can I buy can that. Buy. Well, Mara, you still win. win. You still win. <laughs> Thank you. Mara Wilson. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Mara Wilson. What did you want? One more round of applause for that. Oh. Baron or Soul. Maddie, come back out here. So before we get to our last guest, I can't believe the show is almost over. I always get so sad. We're going to play a game with the audience real quick. This is a game called Bar Talk, where not one, but two members of the audience are going to try to guess what three bar terms mean. Now, you're not playing against each other. You're playing with each other. So can I get two volunteers? Okay, I see you and you. Come on up. Come on up. Is there someone here from Boston? Who? She came all the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah. She came all the way from Boston just for this show. Raise your hand. That's Shayna Oren right there. Came all right. All the way from Boston. I'm from Boston. That's why I want to know. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Honest. Yeah. All right. So this is how we play bar talk. Maddie here is going to read three bar terms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to hear you guys amongst yourselves. Hold on a second. Let's do this. Stand by. If you know, if you know the answer, you know you have to agree on it and answer together. If you don't, I will take most creative answer. Uh, okay. We can do this. Okay, but we want to make sure we hear your thoughts in the microphone. If you win, if you get all three right, you each get a bottle of wine over there, that delicious Multipliciano. We're going to get this. If you don't, you still win the bottles of wine. <laughs> it's like kids' soccer, everyone gets a trophy. So, 
Let's start. Let's play bar talk. You guys ready? What are your names, first of all? Lee. And? Corey. All right, let's do it. Maddie, what is the first term? Girls, what does it mean when you ask your bartender for a back? B-A-C-K, back. That's when... Water? No, it's when you get, like, a, a chaser. No need to whisper in the microphone, right? guys. <laughs> um, I mean, well, a bar back is that dude that is not quite a bartender, so he right. doesn't make all that up money, and he's, like, carrying all the heavy How shit. How dare you? So we're not, we're not specifically asking for the dude. Are we? But if, uh, are we I mean, asking like if for a dude? For, like, a whiskey yeah. and a water back. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. Final um, answer? Well, yeah, we're going to go with that. That is correct. It's a chaser. Yes! Yes. I like that course. line of thinking, ladies. Are you ready? Yeah, question number two. I'm just okay. hoping. I'm just hoping they'll keep dancing. Because <laughs> it looks so good. Uh, really good. It actually yeah. does. Oh, okay. Is it how good, Maddie? What's up? I've been married. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good night. <laughs> Girls, what is a women? <laughs> women. <laughs> With a Y. Sorry. Ladies. Ladies. No. ladies. With ladies. a Y. People. Mademoiselles? Yeah, how about human beings? All right, all right, all right. Hmm. What I don't it? see gender. <laughs> I see it right now. Oh, hi. <laughs> Boobs. Oh, man. What is a free pour? What is a free pour? Did you say free porn? Because I know what that is. <laughs> Not measuring? Porn. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Just, like, oh, just you know, free balling it, you know, without the underwear. Final answer. Like New York port. Yeah, that New is York correct. Port. Yes, oh. that is correct. Yeah. You guys are good. They are good. That's how I bartend. <laughs> All right, you free won port. one question away from the thing you were gonna win anyway. Finally, mademoiselles, to a bartender, what is a head wrecker? Oh, it's a head wrecker. Oh, Jill knows this. <gasps> That's the face I was gonna make. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, most head creative wrecker. answer. A uh, head wrecker. Um, um, it was my nickname in college, by the way. Yeah. That should help you. Yeah. <laughs> like a, any of those fish bowls or like anything where there's just like. Just a <laughs> gallon. In a bowl. <laughs> just like a trough of alcohol. Yeah. Yep. A trough of alcohol. Final answer. Incorrect. <laughs> a head wrecker is a really annoying customer who will not stop. Oh, okay. The <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Congratulations. You have both won bar time. <laughs> All right, Maddie, thank you so much. You can come back for when we play Craigslist Cider Casinos. Our next and final guest, you may have seen him on a little show called The Daily Show. He has a one hour long special coming out. He's a comedian, an awesome person, an actor. He's in a movie with Maddie Blake. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Wyatt Snack. Back. Look at you. You already knew. Yeah. Did you know the answers to all those? I didn't know head wrecker. All right. I was not sure. I never, I didn't know that one. So no, that you know, that's a tough one because it sounds like something that will give you a hangover. Well, that one doesn't yeah. seem like one when you take your orientation as a bartender. <laughs> I feel like they maybe don't tell you that one. That's one you discover on your <laughs> it's, own. It's true. They don't teach it at bartending school, which I never went to. Yeah. That was the first thing I learned. Um, so, Wyatt, well, thank you so much for being here. No I problem. I saw you chatting with Maddie in the back. Do you remember him from the shoot of the movie, or did he just play a cop and you never met him? Uh, I... <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. Any movie I do, I specifically ask to do all of my scenes green screen. <laughs> and specify that I just want to be cut into the movie. So I never meet anybody. <laughs> I also don't do a lot of movies. <laughs> So that's of, why you asked if you could just Skype in from upstairs. I was concerned about that. Yeah, when I no, was like, well, I there's was, no reception, but you're right there. And you were like, yeah, yeah, but I'm hanging out. I wanted to Snapchat in. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. Um, so why well, you came here with a little story, I suppose. or, or I came to Union Hall with a story? Yeah, yeah. Or you, you had something you wanted to talk about. The theme of tonight, I, I suppose, oh. is relationships. Uh, or did you not read the email? It's fine. I didn't um, read the email. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, no, no. We, I, just, we like to tell stories here, but I'm curious. Do you have a story about, say, uh, a first girlfriend or partner or a most recent breakup? Because we're really on a tear tonight with the relationships. With relationship stories? Mm, mm. Um, let me think. Yeah. 
What's that? My relationship with my email? It's not going well. Yeah. One of us is not communicating. You're just like my ex boyfriend. I was going to say, it might, it might be, there might be some sort of thing there that I can take and use. Oh, I fucked up your mic. Oh, it's okay. No, we're okay. fine. We're good. No. Uh, uh, first, a uh, first girlfriend. Um, I, I guess I'm trying to, I had a girlfriend in high school, uh, that I guess she qualifies as the first girlfriend. Now, what would qualify? Because I don't speak male fluently, <laughs> so I've learned recently, and I'm just curious, just asking for a friend, uh, what qualifies as girlfriend then back then? Well, we would hang out, and we would go on, like, dates and stuff, or what I assumed were dates. <laughs> <laughs> But it was, but the whole the whole relationship was strange because she she was this she was this uh, she was this young lady. Her, her name was Lashawn, and she I remember my friend Lawrence was trying to talk to her, and maybe had hung out with her a little bit, but then he was going to New Jersey for the summer, <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, and so then it was like. He was like, you should hang out with LaShawn. What? And so, because he was like, I'm not really that interested in her because she won't let me fuck. And so, <laughs> and so. So you should hold hands with her, basically. Kind of, yeah. Said. He was like, maybe you can crack that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't awe me, awe <laughs> Lawrence. How, how old were you, just so we're clear? I was probably 16. Oh, yeah, okay. I was 16. So, yeah, that's, that's Lawrence's fault. <laughs> Not Look. So, so, did you actually ask her out, or were you like, my friend Lawrence says that you won't fuck him, want to get coffee? <laughs> hey, you're assuming a lot that I drink coffee. <laughs> At 16. <laughs> I think there was a weird, there was like a weird day where the three of us were hanging out, and then Lawrence was like, well, I'm out of here, see you later, and like there was just some weird trade-off, it was like a weird, like, she was just hanging out with Lawrence, and Lawrence was gone, and then like, we were hanging out, and... But were you attracted to her, or was this someone you were like, oh, this is cool, I would like to hang, or was it just more like, I'm 16, I don't know what's happening? Oh, no, I was very attracted to her, and for me, I went to an all-boys high school, so I didn't get to spend much time around girls my age. Mm -hmm. Like, there were maybe a few that I saw at church, but <laughs> there weren't that many that showed up to the high school, because uh, they weren't allowed. <laughs> it was illegal. <laughs> But so, yeah, so LaShawn, it was like summertime, and yeah, I guess it was like a summer relationship, summer whatever. Summer loving. So I don't know if it was summer loving, because it got weird. So Believe it or not, a relationship that starts with your friend passing <laughs> off a person to you ends weird. <laughs> It ends in a story of bulimia and a fake child. Well, are you okay telling us about that? Oh, yeah, no. Let's do it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have story. teed it up if I didn't. You're like, oh, I don't have any stories except for the one about bulimia and a fake child. I'm like, <laughs> well, because the, so the bulimia, I'll go, I'll go in order. <laughs> The, so we were hanging out, and we'd go, we'd go places, we'd hang out, we'd, uh, you know, we'd make out a little bit every now and again, but we'd go to the movies, and we'd go to the mall, and I remember there was one day where she came over to my, uh, to my house, and my stepfather had made enchiladas the night before. My stepfather would make enchiladas in this weird way, where instead of... <laughs> No, it was weird, like, you'll see, don't, it, not like, it wasn't like he would stand in the garage and make them with, like, you know, tongs or anything, like, he just, he made them in a weird way, instead of using, like, instead of using red sauce or, like, uh, verde sauce, he would use cream of chicken soup. 
It which, sounds good, actually. No, it's actually really yeah. delicious. But it was one of those things. My folks, when they would make food, they would make food and they'd make something really amazing. And you were like, oh, that's amazing. We should eat that again. And they'd be like, wait two years. <laughs> and so you knew, like, oh, shit, two years it happened. It's cream of chicken enchilada time. And you got excited. <laughs> And so he'd made these cream of chicken enchiladas, and he made a bunch of them because you got to make them last for a day or two so you have the memory. <laughs> and he, he made them, and so the next day, it was lunchtime, and I remember I was with LaShawn, and, we were like, and I was like, oh, you should come by. My stepdad made these really <laughs> awesome cream of chicken enchiladas. And so... There, I remember we went to, we went to, we went back to my house, and uh, there was also a baby with us, which I'll explain later. Uh, but just hold on to that. Uh, just so you know, like, we weren't going to fuck. It was, there was a baby there. Uh, but you'll see where that's going. Uh, but anyway, so we go back to, we go back to my, to my folks' place. Uh, I guess it was my place too. I didn't have another place I was living. Uh, but we go back to my house, and so there are five enchiladas. Uh, and so I try and be a gentleman. I'm like, how many would you like? And she was like, I, I'll take three. Ooh. And so I was like, all right, I guess I will have two. And I'll eat these two, and then I'll wait another like two, two years. Two years. <laughs> so heat up the enchiladas, have some rice. We eat our food, we have a lovely time, uh, and then she excuses herself and she goes to the bathroom. And so the wall to the kitchen oh, no. was the same wall, like the bathroom was on the other end, or on the other side of it, which seems a little weird now that I think about it, <laughs> that like why the bathroom and the kitchen area yeah. were so close to each other. Uh, but I it's hear the- for her if I know where this story's going. Well, I hear the toilet <laughs> flush like five times like, she ate all her food, and then I hear the toilet flush, like, five times, and I was just like, what the fuck is going on there? And I'm finishing up my enchiladas. And she comes out, and I didn't know what was going on, so I was just like, what were you doing in there, throwing up? Yeah. Oh, here's where it gets fun. <laughs> uh, or troubling, whichever. Uh, <laughs> she looks at me, and there's no shame at all. She was like, yeah, and... Like, and I was like, wait, really? And she was like, yeah, that's uh, what I do. Like, it's how my body gets the nutrients, and then I get rid of it. And I was like, no, that's pooping. That's... <laughs> you were like, plus you had to have three of them, and it's well, two that's, enchilada time. That's, I got, I was less concerned about the fact that I had been presented with a person with an eating disorder, and more concerned with the fact that I also could have eaten the third enchilada. <laughs> and I was and I was more mad about that than oh that's like a right. cry for help. Right. It was more no the enchiladas. <laughs> so that was that part of the relationship. The baby part. <laughs> she had a friend who had a baby. I uh, this uh, who was also in high school, a 16-year-old who also who had a baby. And so she would offer to babysit for her friend and really loved hanging around this baby. How old is the baby? Like baby age. Okay. Like, <laughs> not, like a baby or like a toddler? Like a baby. Like your baby you put in a baby case and you <laughs> carry it around. And, <laughs> and, and then, the leash. And you and you put it in a leash. You put it in one of those baskets that you put in the car, a car seat. You put it in the car seat, like, it's, like, and you take the car seat down, you travel the baby around in it. Like, it's a ba it can't pull its own weight. It's a fucking, it's just like a little idiot that just, yeah. It's, so one of those, like a tiny, yeah, like, I don't know, less than a year, yeah. maybe? I, I've never prided myself in being able to age children. I feel like... I feel like if you're a person who can age children well, you're a person Watch that, out. yeah, you're a person that should probably, like, people should keep an eye on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, that kid, is, that kid is six. Mm -hmm. 
You don't want to know that. <laughs> I like to keep you, it vague. I don't Good know. Um, I don't know you. I don't know what your age is until you show me driver's license <laughs> that proves you're 21. Um, Good for you. But so, her friend had a baby. Uh, so I guess her friend had a baby like 15 or something like that. So had this baby. Uh, she would hang out. She would offer to babysit the kid all the time, and then on like our dates would bring the baby along. <laughs> And so, and then would kind of tell people, was going around telling people it was our baby. <laughs> and told like her, her stepbrother that this baby was hers and mine. And so at one point I met her stepbrother. Oh no. And she was like, just go along with it. I told him it's our baby. And I was like, I don't know what to yeah, say. I was about to say, are you okay with that? <laughs> I just didn't, I, like at that point too, it's like, I've never had someone kiss me this much, so I'll just <laughs> yes, go I'll along, be the kind of. And then eventually, her friend, I like, I wasn't, I would never be like, yeah, it's my fucking kid. I was just like, I'm just gonna quietly not say anything and try to leave the room as soon as possible because this is weird. Yeah, yeah. And then her friendship with that uh, with that kid ended because the girl found out, like, oh, you're telling people this is your baby. <laughs> That's not cool. Even though I want my summer free. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would be okay with that if someone like, said Even though that. I want my summer free, I still, I don't fucking tell people this is your No, baby. no, no, no. That's a little uh, weird. That is a little weird. So the relationship ended basically at the end of the summer. Your friend came back, was like, did you crack her? You were like, no, but we had a baby. <laughs> kind of, yeah. yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah. We had, All right, I like that. Yeah, we, we had this. <laughs> We had this Jesus child. <laughs> uh, Why? Well, thank you so much. That was awesome. Uh, no problem. Are you ready to play a game, Craigslist ad or casting notice, with Green Screen Man, Mr. Matty Blake? Yeah. Sure. All right. As All long right. as. Yeah. You can win again from Buy Brooklyn, uh, an amazing store on Smith Street. These awesome Brooklyn pint glasses. All right. And these adorbs little uh, shot glasses that say forget about it, Noive. All right. Because I know you're half Jewish. Uh, uh, so there you go. A lot of people assume that, actually. Is that true? I actually did. I was making a joke. No, people <laughs> will assume that. They, really? Yeah. I don't think Jewish people assume it. I think <laughs> people who may say awful things about yeah. Jewish people assume it. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Maddie. I, I so, saw the rough cuts. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how we play. Maddie's going to read what is either a legitimate Craigslist personal ad or a legitimate casting notice. And you have to guess which one it is. Either way, you still win this YOLO. Uh, Here's what's awkward. What if I answered it? Like, what if it was a casting notice that I went in for, or a Craigslist ad that I responded to? Some, what, what I've shown you is I don't have a good track record. If at 16, I was dating a, a woman with an eating disorder and also some weird lying child stealing uh, thing. Maddie, is it too late to switch the question? Because I think we got the wrong. I don't think I so. I met you when you were 16 and I had a baby. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not, yeah, let's go, with, the, let's go yeah. with number three then. I'm known will, for my improv. Will help me raising Arizona a child. <laughs> I just want to know what a baby case is. <laughs> it's a thing you put like the, okay. the thing... Just one a car seat. It's okay. a car seat. It's, I want to get yeah. me one of them. I have a case of the babies. A baby case. Yeah. All right. So oh, why? it's just like a turntable case that you poke some holes in and you put a baby <laughs> back. Right. Yeah. As long as I can breathe. Yeah. It's uh, foam, so it's comfortable. <laughs> Padded. So why? Is this a Craigslist ad or a casting notice? Craigslist ad. <laughs> <laughs> Seeking Hispanic or ethnic woman, 28 to 38 years old, voluptuous, sassy, salty, attractive, shapely, and well-endowed, or large-breasted. Or large-breasted. Fun-loving, outgoing, and confident, attractive, chatty, fun. Did you go out for that one? No, I placed that one. <laughs> uh, both, both as a Craigslist ad and... <laughs> <laughs> and a web series I'm <laughs> producing <laughs> called Fun Big Boob Latina. Yeah. <laughs> Great script. Yeah. Uh, 
My money says Craigslist ad. Maddie? It's a casting notice. Casting notice. <laughs> it's a casting notice, but... But why you still win this? All you right. still win this awesome project. What is, right? is, there, is there is there any information as to the project that's? I, I actually can I can send it to you if you want. I, it's okay. a yeah. Like I just want I'm just curious to know what the project is. <laughs> yeah. What to be aware of. Well, yeah. what's, now what's that I know you'll check your email. I will send you the. Well, I'm not gonna check my. Email. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, why stand up your. Why? Oh. I'd like to thank my guests. Wyatt Sinek, yeah. Mara Wilson, Maddie Blake. Come here, guys. Take a Thank you so much for coming such a great the bartender. Thank you. I'm your host, Catherine Hell. You guys have been great, and have a wonderful night, you guys. Thank you so much for coming out.